P. Diddy thought he was untouchable. He thought he could do all these different things. He thought he was the big cheese. No one could get him. He had so much money, so much power, so much fame. And yet now he's in a jail cell. Why? Be sure your sin will find you out. Now here's a big question. Is it just P. Diddy who needs to be held accountable? Because I bet you one thing, I've never met you, but I can tell you one thing that I know about you. You're a sinner. Is that right or is it wrong? It's right, isn't it? Lads, do you think I'm a sinner? What do you reckon? Do you think I'm a sinner? I am. I am a sinner. And how do you know that? Because we've all done wrong, haven't we? And friends, there's things we might do in secret. There might be thoughts we might think. But the Bible says, be sure your sin will find you out. I follow you. Oh, I'm praise God. Oh, Thank lovely you. to meet you. And Thank you. you. Yeah. Thank you. So nice to meet you, madam. Yeah. What's your name? Lizzie. Lizzie. Lovely to meet you, Lizzie. Yeah. You're on YouTube now, by the way. <laughs> God bless you. Friends, be sure your sins will find you out. Okay. There is a God and he loves you and he died on a cross. He sent his son Jesus to bleed and die on a cross for your sins, to wash away all of those sins. Here's something else. A little bit later in the news, uh, a bit earlier. Do you remember the Olympics? Did you watch the Olympic Games? Now, why would I, as a Christian, have something to say about the Olympic Games? Can you remember what they did in Paris at the opening ceremony? They mocked Jesus' supper, didn't they? Now, here's another question. Is there anyone out here who's a Marvel fan in Manchester? Raise your hand if you're a Marvel fan. Does anyone, do you like Marvel, my friend? You don't know, you're not a Marvel fan. Anyone else, does anyone like Marvel movies here in Manchester today? Do you like it? Why would I be talking about a Marvel movie? What did they do with Wolverine in the latest film? They put him on a cross. Now here's a question for you. If you're a Muslim going by, if you're a Hindu, whoever you are, I want to ask you a question. Why is it always Jesus Christ that gets mocked? Why do they put Jesus Christ and they mock him at the Paris Olympic Games? Why don't they do it to Muhammad? Why don't they do it to Buddha? Why, don't they do Why is it always Jesus that they mock? A big question. Why is it they put Jesus on a cross in the Wolverine movie? Why is it always Jesus? Please answer my question. And the Muslims will stand with me and they'll say, we see this as wrong. We think it's wrong that you're mocking Jesus Christ. But I'm asking you, why is it always acceptable to do it to Christ? Now, I'm gonna, as a Christian, I'm going to stand up and I'll say, I believe there is a devil. Now, I know you think I'm crazy saying this right now, but I believe there is a devil. There's someone called Satan. Is there anyone in Manchester today who believes in Satan? I think Satan exists. So would it make sense if there's one true God, Jesus Christ, who bled and died on a cross, would it make sense Satan, who wants to drag as many souls down to hell, would it make sense that he'd aim all of his arrows, all of his darts at Jesus Christ? Because if there's only one who can get you out of hell and Satan's got many citizens of hell he wants to drag down there, would it make sense that he would mock Jesus Christ? That's why I think it, it doesn't mock Elvis Presley, we don't mock all these other people, but we mock the name of the Lord Jesus Christ because Christ alone is the one who can raise you out of the grave. Christ alone is the one who's risen from the grave. Do you believe it? This sister here. It's the truth, my friends, and consider these things. Whoever you are, wherever you're from, consider Jesus Christ rose from the dead. Now, again, another thing in the news, let's stay on the news, Donald Trump. I wonder what goes through your mind when I say the name Donald Trump. Judas. Judas. You think of Judas, okay. Guys, do you think, do you wish Donald Trump got hit that day? Or are you pleased he's still alive? Praise God he's alive. You're, you're glad he's alive, madam. Praise God. Why'd you say that, madam? Let me ask. Without him, I'm finished. Yeah, okay. I, I'm on your side here, okay? So, yeah, I'm on, I'm on your side here, madam. No, I'm on your side. Anyone else? Anyone going by? I'm asking you a question. Donald Trump, do you wish that bullet hit him or not? What do you, girls, what do you think? You wish it did. Why? Why'd you say that, girls? Why am I asking you that question, okay? You see, people are very divided on Donald Trump. But you know, there's one person who divides more opinions than Donald Trump. It's the Lord Jesus Christ. Right now, on this street in Manchester, am I right or wrong? There's people on this street today in Manchester who follow Jesus Christ, yes. who love Jesus Christ, who respect Jesus Christ. Is that right? Yes. Okay. But on this street here also today in Manchester, there's many people who hate Jesus Christ, who do not want anything to do with him. Is that right or is that wrong? It's right, isn't it? Jesus Christ divides opinion. You see, the Bible says just like there's division, there's two places. There's a place called heaven and there's a place called hell. And I'm asking you today, people of Manchester, where would you go? Heaven or hell? Big question, isn't it? 
Lads, where will you go? Heaven or hell? If tonight was your last night on planet Earth, where are you going? Hell. You're going to hell. Why'd you say that, madam? What about your friend there? Where's he going? Warmer. He's where? It's warmer. Okay, you say it's warmer. Well, this, this lady's not wrong. My dear friends, do not go to hell. There's many places you might want to go, but do not go to hell. All the fire engines in the world, all the fire engines in, in the UK, all the fire engines in America, in Africa, all around the world, if all of those, all the firemen, all the services poured all of their water on hell, do you know something? It wouldn't put the fire out. If all the oceans of the world, and you think how vast the ocean is, if all of that was poured on hell, it would not put the fires of hell light out. And my dear friends, some of you are going to that place. Some of you are going to that place called hell. Friends, I'm a street preacher, and street preachers are a bit like fire alarms. Very, very annoying, but they warn you of danger. And I'm not standing here today because I like the sound of my own voice. I'm standing here today because there is a fire in hell, and some of you are going there. The Bible says, broad is the way to destruction. Many are on that road, and narrow is the way to eternal life. Few find it. When Jesus Christ said those words, was he right or was he wrong? That there's many going to the down to hell, there's many on that road to hell, and there's very, very few who follow after him. Was he right or was he wrong? He was right, wasn't he? Friends, consider these things. Consider the Son of God who shed his blood on a cross for you. Amen, brothers. You should definitely be coming out more often, bro. It's, you were born for this, brother. Oh, praise God, man. No. Yeah. It's all right. You, you, people stopped and listened. And... It is hard going. You need it like where it's a bit slower, I think, at the chat. Hey, Hello, nice to meet you. What's your yeah, name? Sue. Yeah. Sue, nice to meet yeah, you, Sue. Your oh, praise God. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, so you out here a lot then doing that? Uh... Every Thursday, we're down at the bottom. Yeah. Come every Thursday, we've got a table oh, down right, there. Oh, okay, yeah, wow, you brilliant, the, yeah. Mosey down there, you yeah, see right, us. Okay. I'm not, right, okay, yeah, right, oh, okay. Well, thank you for joining us today. No, yeah. I need your support, yeah. Well, it's just yeah. me and Jason. Jason's come all the way from Africa to be here today. Thank you, Hello, hello. God yeah. bless you. you too. Yeah. I've been to thank South you. Africa. Yeah, yeah. yeah. God bless you, sister. Yeah, yeah many, wow. many years ago I went. Yeah. 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 Hey, brother, God bless you. God bless you. Jason, actually, you too. This is his, he did it every day in Manchester for many years and then he's wow. gone over to be a missionary in, um, in Ghana. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. Don't be ashamed of Jesus Christ. He gave his life for us on the cross. Yeah. 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 He's the son of God who loved us and gave his life for us. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
show you mercy. He'll show you love. He'll show you forgiveness. But you've got to come to him and say, Lord, I'm sorry. Lord, I'm sorry for what I've done. And turn away and turn to him and look to him and believe in him and rest in him and only him and him. Not the church, not the Pope, not religion, not Mecca, not any false prophet. But in him, in Christ, in Jesus, it's a relationship. Come to him and have a relationship with God through Jesus Christ. Christ died on the cross and he rose again. Muhammad died and he's still dead. He's still in the grave. Buddha died, he's still in the grave. Bertrand Russell, the atheist, died, he's still in the grave. Christ died and rose again. He conquered death. He said, I am the resurrection and the life. The resurrection and the life. He conquered death. And my dear friend, you, you need to believe in him. You need to believe in him while you can. These are the last days. We see wars. Jesus said there'll be more wars. Jesus said there'll be more false prophets. Jesus said there'll be more heartache in the last days. And we're seeing it. This is an alarm now. You need to trust in him while you can. While you have hope. While you have the day. Today is the day of salvation. Today. Don't run away. Don't hide. Don't escape. Come to the blood of Jesus.